Kannauj. Situated on the banks of the sacred river Ganges is the forgotten land of perfumes. The once capital city of Emperor Harshvardhan, home to India's own brand of natural oil perfumes derived from botanical sources. More than 250 industries of Itr thrive here. बॉयलर में पहले स्टीम बनाते हैं और वो स्टीम जो है प्रेशर्स सर्टेन अनसर्टेन प्रेशर वो जाती है स्टिल्स में जिन्हें हम डेग में उसमें भी डेग होती है लेकिन उसमें वो स्टीम भेजी जाती है अंदर सर्टेन प्रेशर और वो स्टीम जब बाहर निकलती है तो वो ऑयल कंडेंस को अपने साथ वाटर में पर्स लेके निकलती है और वो फिर वो S. Muhammad Yaqub tells us the story of how it all began with Noor Jahan, the Mughal queen. She once had her bathtub filled with rose petals and noticed a sweet fragrance emanating from it. That was the first it. <laughs> तो दैन रूद अगर अगर जिसको वो पसंद करते हैं लेडीज जेंट हमारे देश से लाखों करोड़ों की ज़्यादा है अगर आप उनके अगर लगा दिए बड़े खुश हो जाएंगे उठेंगे अचूमेंगे चाटेंगे ओ जैन जैन तो ये बराबर बराबर जैन जैन मतलब ये अरबी क्लब है बहुत अच्छा बहुत अच्छा मेरे प technology so still you have the processes no, the mode of the button I have told you one thing that we have to maintain the delicacy so we can't change one instead of this wood instead of this cow dung we can that's use electric furnace that is the only change which, which is possible that's what but Electricity is not available in the context. Have you ever eaten, drink, milk, bean, uh, made, uh, ready, eaten in another pot? Yeah. Hmm? If to talk about to get a milk, milk ready on warm that milk in microwave, either me or you can, can speak for half an hour. Clean, safe, Consistent in quality, energy saving, cost saving, time saving. I can give a very nice PowerPoint presentation, or even you can give anyone of can give for half an hour. Yeah. Do any microwave oven in any part of the world can give you the test what you give it when milk is being heated in the other part. Though very good. Yeah. My answer to Kanoja is that.
the Fragrance and Flavor Development Center, FFDC, set up in 1991, is an initiative by the Government of India to serve, sustain and upgrade the status of farmers and industries engaged in the aromatic cultivation and its processing. Terracotta operator, which is similar to the Kermaus distillation, uh, distillation unit, was found during the Indus Valley civilization. This was all reported by Dr. Paolo Rovasti. No point talking about Doja and Ashwagandha. A large number of references to cosmetics and perfumes in Sanskrit literature were found in Vrat Samhita, a 6th century Sanskrit encyclopedia. The earliest distillation of it was mentioned in the Ayurvedic text Charaka Samhita. On the first page of Google we are there. There is nobody else other than us who is right from cultivation up to development of Rangan Samhita under one root world. And the size of this uh, fragrance and flavor industry uh, worldwide is 25,000 billion years long. And India does have something around 10% of this share. For fragrance and flavor, for naturals, India's position is much better. Normally, the flow of knowledge is from a big metro to a small city. Here, we are making it the other way around. And I tell you, when the meeting hills, when we call people to attend this meeting, in most of the meeting, which is being called by FDC at FDC cost, we don't give people more than 10 people. Out of this whole lot of 350, they don't have time for that. If you don't have a time for your own problems, where government taking a step, who will come? Should I make money, earn money, sell after somewhere in Europe and uh, come back and give it to you at your doorstep? So these are smaller issues, but the bigger issue is that is use rules. There is a legend on how the first itras were made in Kannauj. During the winters, the forest dwelling fakirs and sadhus used certain perfumed jungle herbs and roots in their bonfires. The shepherds who grazed their sheep in that region found the perfume lingering in the burnt wood long after the sadhus left the place. The unique, captivating aroma of itra lingers on and continues to charm generations.